Hey everybody, check it out. What's up? It's Heracles Porsche's professional intro. Yay! What's up everybody? Heracles Porsche here playing on Guild and Lock this game. This is the second episode of the war documentary as I'm calling it. Um, so I have gone ahead and got a little bit of background information on how this war all started actually. Uh, uh, the people in Cor Corpse saw my last video and were kind of laughing that I had no clue uh, why the war had started. Turns out it wasn't for honor, it wasn't for glory, it wasn't because the last hope for sniping people's last districts. It wasn't even because districts might be worth something in the next update, no. Basically everything boils down to uh, people getting drunk and shit talking each other on the internet and wanting to prove that they're tough. So yeah, hope that's not a disappointment for anybody, but you know, this is the internet and FPS. I guess I probably nobody will be surprised by that. But anyway, anytime you guys hear about a giant land war starting and ending in dust, you can pretty much just assume that that story starts and ends with Shepard being drunk. Okay. Anyway, um, so this game I played a little bit sloppily. Um, so I'm getting killed by overwatch position here. Um, and, uh, I could, um, yeah, there's a couple other deaths that, like, I guess I consider kind of, uh, avoidable, but, um, yeah, anyway, this, these, uh, guys we were fighting, I'm not gonna try and pronounce their names right now, but, uh, they put up a pretty good fight, as you will see. Um, but yeah, after this uh, after this fight happened, I kind of was uh, like I wasn't I wouldn't say getting down on myself. I was just like, oh, I was just a little under vigilant that game. Like my next games, so I really need to um, put more thought into just you know, guardianship, I guess, is what, what I'd call it. Um, I was kind of like chasing, you guys, I was going for the bolt pistol kills earlier in the match. I was kind of chasing the flashy kills a little bit. But, um, yeah, uh, like I've said before, really, your job is keeping you the letter flu, so. Um, can I say about this? Uh, so yeah, um, all right. So who was who was just repping me? This game, I was definitely under repped. Alright, so it was, uh, that was Wreck Ball, I guess. Um, I didn't even know he had a build like that, although there's probably a lot of builds I don't know about. Oh, this is good, this is a good spot. This, this guy right, really sloppily trying to bait me. Oh, no, not that one either. It just feels so fun when they're just, they're out of options. Anyway, yeah, so, uh, this was the only game I played on on my heavy character all day. Uh, this game, by the way, took took part a lot later than uh, the first game of the war I uploaded. The first one, I think, was probably around 3 p.m. in the day. Um, come on, guys, don't don't cross in my line of fire like that. It's just ugh. Alright, Mojo, watch. Alright, I gotta poke Mojo. Mojo, watch this footage. 
don't cross my line of fire. Here's another thing. Okay, so I get... Um, see, that death I didn't blame myself for. Um, I should have been... I should have been turning around at that point, and I would have been, but n absolutely nobody was calling out that the letter was being taken. Like, my ass, believe me, my ass would have turned the fuck around if somebody had gotten on comms and said, we're losing the letter. And, uh, I mean, I could have watched the minimap a bit more, but, you know, comms are there for a reason. But, yeah, you can, uh, you can see earlier in the kill feed people were getting killed by surprise gunners and on on my team were being killed by surprise gunners and you know basically being sheepish about it but uh, you know when your letters vulnerable you really you really do have to call it out um, anytime I go down your letter you bet your ass I am yelling on comms for that letter to be watched but sometimes I feel like I'm the only one doing it I don't know um, so yeah, um, definitely, yeah, this was the only game I played with my heavy this day. And you can just definitely see from the links and from the lack of reps, uh, I definitely felt like my team was under logied, which is why I, I went back to, uh, I went back to playing my Lodgy the rest of the night after this game was over, and it was nice. It was nice to play more heavy, because I had, uh, I really like over the course of the day there just wasn't enough action, and I got, you know, even though this game was, uh, I did not perform quite as good as I normally do on my heavy. That at least I was getting some action, and uh, of course grabbed my key for the day. Um, this part, who was with me here? I know somebody was being, I had a teammate who was really being great and was uh, scanning and uh, making sure the point was clear. Um, yeah, somebody had made, somebody was making sure for me on comms at that point that the point was clear. And uh, I was going for, got that counter off smoothly. Um, yes, yeah, so at this point somebody actually was being good on comms. Anyway, here's another point I, you, uh, you're going to see in a second, I play kind of sloppily. Anyway, that death wasn't so bad. It was gave me my opening to come back into the city. And uh, this is probably not the most heavy friendly section of the map, but that's okay. You go where you're needed. That was a beautiful Nova Knife by Alias. I think that deserves an instant replay. Some of those didn't connect. Yeah, they're definitely all over those rings, keeping us pretty defensive.
Okay, I'm gonna be taking cover here for a while. Um, my team's spread out enough. I know I'm in an awful situation. I was definitely calling out for reps at this point. Definitely. Reps by Bravo. I said it at least a couple times. And uh, they did not come. If my shields had filled up, I probably would have made a break for somewhere else. Because I knew I was... I knew I, I saw this next death coming. A mile off. Yeah. I was not surprised when that happened. Anyway, you guys can see the ticks for yourselves. Um, anyway, kills like that. That's why I carry the bolt pistol. I know I'm saying something kind of obvious, but this is a sequence I really like. It's about to come up. There's certain people I just if you're a heavy and you haven't tried out the bull pistol. There's Yoshi getting the uh getting the kill and that's gonna happen one more time. Um Yeah, I really don't mind getting the assists at this point. Actually I think actually I really like this part when um Yoshi and I are bolt pistoling together. I think it's kind of like uh He's, he's only doing it in an advanced bolt pistol, but the, uh... These, actually, there's not, you know, there's between... The difference between tiers on the bolt pistol is not, not actually that huge. So I can definitely understand him carrying an advanced bolt pistol to, uh... You know, if, for whatever his PG CPU requirements. Um, on this heavy, I can really stretch out mine, so I... Which is why I can carry the, uh... The full proto one. But, uh, yeah, there's this, anyway, I really like that, that sequence, don't mind getting assists, just kind of exemplifying some actual teak work, <laughs> teak work, teak work, everybody, we, we, we won with teak work, um, teamwork, I really like having little sections I can point to and say, there's teamwork, um, teak work. What else is there? Yeah, there's uh, there's a certain dust YouTuber I need to start convincing to carry this bolt pistol. And uh, it sounds like an uphill battle. The, for some reason, the guy does just not want to carry sidearms. But uh, anyway, that's not PC related. I should get into that. But uh, yeah, if you're, it's this is debatable. But I think for the heavy, uh, you know, the sidearm. Uh, sidearms are important for any, pretty much anyone who can carry them, but I think for the heavy, they're probably... Uh, I think, yeah, I think they're kind of the most important cla class in terms of carrying a sidearm. Grabbing a kill there. I get very negligent here. Um, I saw there was a heavy watching this point, and clones are down to 16, whatever, so... Uh, yeah, I'm. I wanting. I'm wanting to go kill hunting at this point, and then I can't turn myself away. I see the red dot up there. As far as I know, nothing near Bravo, so I just let myself go. And like the instant I do, of course, that letter's turning red. And uh, yeah, that was sloppy. I should have guessed there were blinks all over the top of those rings, and I never should have let that letter go. But um, yeah. There's another example of crossing right in my line of fire. I guess that wasn't so bad. Alright, they're all they're all over this place. I probably would have been be better sticking in the city if I just wanted to kill him. Well, I did grab a couple. I did grab a little bit. Do a little bit of damage over here. Anyway, yeah, very sloppy ending here. 
Uh, I know I'm like almost when I'm when I'm almost dead. I always I always have this tendency to go for to like focus on hacks when I'm like when I think my combat capability is over. I just that's what I tend to do. I tend to find the other thing to do, uh, even if it's just kind of silly. But uh, there we go. Uh, I've definitely gotten I've definitely done PCs where I've gotten higher KDs. You can go back through my PC playlist and you'll see that. But Anyway, like you guys should know by now, I don't play to buff KD. I just, I just play. I just do things. No, I, I, I play to just kind of like build up my. What do I call it? My Zen, my Zen connection to all things dust. Okay, that was totally lame. Don't repeat that. Do not spread that on the forums that I said that in one of my videos. Eki Initio. So yeah, lots of new corpses that I just feel like I'm not keeping track of the new corpses as they emerge and they just come from nowhere and give a pretty decent performance like this. But uh, anyways, someone told me I should stop calling people dusties in my videos. I'm not gonna stop. I'm not gonna stop doing it. troll lol 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 until next time, Dusties, see you star side.